Match day basketball sports. Stream thousands of live and on-demand sporting events from any device. Copyright disclaimer, under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is mad for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statutes that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game. John, you finally got here. Yeah, I got tied up in traffic. Well, the folks are in box 62. I'm going to make some bets in the next race. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. The horses are now coming out of the paddock. Hello, Grace. 
Sorry I'm late. Uh, parking trouble and, and confusion. Where are the girls? Well, they didn't come. Oh, I'd like you to know Harriet and Larry Crane, John Hewitt. Oh, Ralph's friends from Chicago. How Mrs. Crane. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Oh, Ralph was I'm telling us this is your first visit to a racetrack. Yes, that's right. It's my first fling. Ralph will be back in a few minutes. He's our betting commissioner. Yes, I saw him. He told me where you were. I never saw so many people rushing and crowding. Opening day is always that way. Why didn't Diane and Nancy come along? Oh, their car practically fell apart this morning. Old age, I guess. They're trying to get it back on its feet by Monday. How old are your girls, Mr. Hewitt? Diane is 18 and Nancy's 17. Don't get John started on his daughter. He'll never stop. Yeah, Larry, right. bingo to win. That was oh. yours. Oh, thanks, John. And here, dear, cat walk to show. And uh, I'm playing the favorite, Roustabout, on the nose. You've got $2 on my bet, Harriet. I don't want it. I still like Danny's cutaway. That horse has never been on the money. He's only in for the ride. I only wanted you to bet $2 for me. I'd be throwing money away. Horses are approaching. Is there any the special reason gate. why you like that horse, Mrs. Green? It's the same initial as our daughter, Dorothy. D.C. Danny's cutaway, Dorothy Crane. There ought to be a law, Hewitt. Look, if Danny's cutaway runs one, two, three, or even fourth, I'll eat the horse. Well, you've eaten a good many horses. <laughs> <laughs> what horse are you betting on, John? <laughs> Me? Bet on a horse? You think I'm crazy? <laughs> you mean you're just going to watch the races and not make a bet? Why, is there a law against that? They're all bound running. Out of the gate, Spangler is in front. Gilbert is second. The Dutchman is third. Bingo is fourth. Adlon is fifth. Danny's cutaway is sixth. Where's Catwalk? Roustabout and Catwalk. Roustabout that way, Danny Mahomes kills his leading by two lengths. The Dutchman is second by a half a length. Bingo is third Not by a half a length. Bingo! Roustabout is fourth. Look at that horse move! Where's Danny's cutaway? Spangler is fifth. Danny's cutaway is sixth. Catwalk and Adlon. Where's Danny's cutaway is nowhere. Oh, shut up! In the stretch, Bingo is taking the lead. That's my Bingo, baby! Just <laughs> about his third. Gilt is fourth. Danny's cutaway is fifth. Come on, Jim's cutaway. I mean Danny's. And now they're driving home. Railbird Riley didn't give that horse a chance. Neither did Easy Money Matthews. He Riley. always does that to me. All right, I'll give you the $30. No, I'd rather have you eat the horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, you've seen your first horse race. What do you think of it? Well, it seems to me they're only trying to prove that one horse can run faster than another. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Come on, I have to place a bet on the next race. <laughs> Hello, John. Hi, George. Oh, I want you to meet Ralph Shepard. This is my brother-in-law, George, Ralph. How do you do? How do you do? Hey, your brother-in-law? John was married to my sister who died eight years ago. I don't know what that makes him now, but we still call each other brother-in-law. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, won't you join us? We have an extra seat in our box. Yeah. Thanks. No, I can't. Some people are waiting for me. But, uh, John, I've got some pretty good information on Argosy in the fifth race coming up. He's five to one. Argosy? Argosy? That's with Eddie Osborne up. He's one of the best jockeys in the country. He is? And John, I happen to know that Osborne is betting on that horse. You do? Really? You can use your own judgment. I, I've got to run. Can't even stay for the big race. I have an appointment in town at 5 o'clock. Bye, John. See you later, Mr. Shepard. Yeah. So long. Hey, who was that? Huh? Oh, uh, John's brother-in-law with a tip on Argosy. Argosy? That's the horse I like. He's good on any kind of a track. I won a big bet on him last year on the slop. Slop? Sure, much. Sloppy going. Oh, 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 well, I guess he's my bet. How about you, John? No, oh, no, I'm afraid not. Hey, you're an iron man, Hewitt. Sitting through three races and not making a bet. Why, John, you gotta bet a few dollars when you get a hot tip like that. I do? Yeah. Well, certainly. Well, all right. Show me where I can get a $2 ticket. All right. Hearing the wire, it's Argosy out in front by a length and a half. Capricorn is second, and it's Argosy by two lengths. Beginner's luck. That's the first money I ever won. Well, that we all collect. Ralph, how much do I win? Hmm? Oh, a little over ten dollars. I'll collect close to two hundred. Two hundred? Yeah. He repeated that race at Bowie. Took the lead and wasn't headed. Why? Uh, how do you know that? Well, there it is. 
These little figures indicate how many lengths he was out in front. Oh, what do those little figures mean? Those are the jockey's weights, and those are the post positions. What does that H-Y mean? That's heavy. M-Y is mud, and S-L is slow. Very interesting. Say, I have an idea. After the races, let's all have dinner here with me. Uh, don't count on me, Ralph. Dee and Nancy will be waiting for me. Oh, John, you're like an old lady with those girls. They've outgrown their pigtails. They're young ladies now. Oh, Ralph is right. Come along, John. You can telephone the girls later. Yeah, come on, John. Huh? Well, all right, all right. Oh. You know, I'm going to follow Osborne in the big race. He's riding a horse called Bandy Boy. Hey, Bandy Boy can win. He's good for about 20 to 1. Osborne brings in those long shots. 20 to 1? Sure, you can bet your winnings. After all, you can't lose anything. Maybe I will. That $200 could be a down payment on a car for the girls. Come on, John. I'll show you where to cash your ticket. Oh, all right. Boyfriend tonight. Never better. Go ahead. Don't let me interrupt anything. You're not interrupting anything. It's a sports cast. We're about to tune out. Oh, wait a minute. I want to hear that. Among those present in the turf club were Mayor and Mrs. Hughes, Grace and Ralph Shepard, local executive, and his guest, Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence Crane of Chicago, and the personable John Hewitt. An exciting afternoon. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> and among those present was the handsome John Hewitt. You didn't say handsome. The word was personable. The same difference. <laughs> you win a couple of thousand, Dad? I didn't lose. <laughs> I guess nobody's going to introduce us. Oh, I'm Stuart. sorry, Chuck. Daddy did.